Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> There's too many. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Demon 5. I'm back here again doing another Japanese mod. So, once again, I missed some stuff. Or, uh, kind of, if it looks like I don't know what I'm talking about, it's because the page is in Japanese, so sorry about that. Anyways, today I am reviewing the Shinobi mod, and it's basically Naruto in Minecraft. And I know that there's already a few Naruto mods out there, mm, but this one's pretty cool too, so I just thought I'd show you guys it. So, the first thing that you need to do is, uh, clear the weather, and I'll be right back once... I get everything set up because I don't really have much set up right now. Alright, I'm back and I'm pretty much ready to show you guys what this mod does. So right here we have ninjas that will spawn in naturally in your world. There's the regular one. You can get a Huga ninja. He looks pretty much the same except his eyes are white. And then a Uchiha and then his eyes are red. So that's pretty much that for that. And then you can get kunai's which that's how you craft it can you craft these I don't think you can and uh, pay no attention to what's in my inventory so that's pretty much all the items you can right click to throw the kunai I, don't, I guess it does a lot more when you attack too or no wait that's because I got all these buffs on uh, let me get milk real quick Probably gonna need a few milks, so let's just go ahead and get two. All right. Oh dang! I think these effects are infinite. No, let me try and fix this. All right, we're back. I fixed it. So yeah, it does about seven damage when you hit right up like that. And oh, I guess Shinobi will drop these. Where's the other ones? Uh, whatever let's and if you throw it it does six so yeah now to get into the jutsus so the first jutsu you want to do is slash jutsu fire oh and you need ten levels in survival to and use then, any of the jutsus oh, I guess that gives you some abilities when you do that I didn't realize that so you can jump higher you got Speed 3 and resistance 4. Nice. And uh, to use the jutsus, you hit R. Uh, wait, let me sign up. You hit R and then you shoot a fireball. And if you hit Y, you shoot a bunch. And that's all there is for fire. Next is water. And yeah, when you type, it'll still do stuff. So water, I think, gives you the same exact stuff. So, now that we have all that, if we hit R, uh, okay, yeah, if, if you hit R, you'll get this little thing. And if you just hold R, you can keep spamming it. And it only goes so far. Wanna click this and then if we hit Y it'll make a wall which basically only goes straight up and it will eventually go away and that's pretty much it for water all right next is dirt which is I'm not even gonna bother with dirt it's basically the same thing as water Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I lied. It does do one other thing. So just like water, you can make a wall if you hit R. And if you hit Y, you... S oh, God. No. He's in the wall. You spawn in an iron golem. So let's try that again. Yeah, there you go. Uh, next is wind. I don't actually think this has anything yet. Wind. 
Oh, it looks like it does. So. Okay, no, I guess you can activate it, but it doesn't really doesn't really have any jutsus yet. All right, next after this is thunder. So thunder's pretty cool. If you go up and hit R, everything in a certain radius of you will catch fire and explode again. Did that actually do damage? Okay, it looks like it does four or five damage to everything around you. And if you hit Y, uh, let me get rid of these. And then if you hit Y, you get the Chidori, which does 25 damage. You can't throw it, so yeah, you just run up and hit them. And then next, next is um, I don't know why it's called this. It's just zero. So basically, this is Naruto's jutsus. And does this add any extra effects? No. So if you hit R, you get a Rasengan. And as you saw before, if you hit Y, the Shadow Clones. I think they'll actually. Uh, they just kind of walk around, really. They're weird but they will they are like aggressive I don't think they attack what you attack but if something attacks them they do fight back I don't know let's try and hit a sheep over here and see if my shadow clones come uh, were there any other sheeps yeah I don't know they just kinda do their own thing and uh, I'm pretty sure that's it Okay, there is one other thing, but I couldn't find out how to do it, and what it seemed like it was, was it was like the wood or tree jutsus. Sadly, I couldn't find out how to actually activate that. So basically what you can do with that is you can spawn in a bunch of different trees, and you can make a wood wall. So yeah, now we're going to get on to the cool stuff, Sharingan. Renegon and Byakugan and I will oh wait almost forgot R Rasengan does a uh, 50 attack damage and I think it said something about it being an automatic one hit on anything I don't know but yeah I'll get ready for everything else and I'll be right back all right I'm back so I think the first one I'm going to show you guys is Byakugan and I think if you just right click it adds all of these effects to you Night Vision 2, why is it 2? I don't know, Speed, Strength 2, Jump Boost, and basically everything else that you got before except with the Strength 2. And uh, if I hit R, do I get any cool effects? No, okay, this just adds Night Vision. And uh, I don't think it does any effects with your eyes. Yeah, no, it might have looked like it did, but that's just because my little things in the way. My eyes aren't actually white. So, that's pretty much all this does. Alright, now I'm back, and now we're going to use Sharingan. Right click again, and basically it just gives you what everything else gives you. And if you hit. Oh, whoa. Well, if you hit, uh. That is freaking awesome. That is the, uh. What's that thing called? Susano. I don't think it actually does anything, but he does have the effect working. That's pretty cool. All you have to do is hit R after right clicking with Sharingan. And let's see if we actually do any extra damage. Although, I kind of wish maybe, maybe you could see better in it. Let's see. Uh, sheep. Now, okay, it doesn't look like it really. It's just a cool effect right now. This is a work in progress, I guess. And yeah, I'll be back to finally show you what Renegon does. And Nick, Renegon is freaking awesome. All right, I am back, and now we have the Renegon. Right click, you get 
Um, you get those effects, same ones as last time. And uh, we're going to start with some weaker effects. So first is you. You, any mobs close to you, will be blown. Will be shot back like that. If I hit I, I can start dragging mobs in near me. Let's see. Uh, see, just kind of gets pulled in. And then you. <laughs> oh, wow. If you kind of like spam them both, you can end up killing the sheep. And let me just try this. Okay, if you hit R, it doesn't work. So the next ability is kind of laggy. So let me turn off shaders real quick. None. Done. All right. Mm, maybe I can handle it with shaders, but I don't know. So if we hit Y, it'll shoot up a block like that. Let me just fly real quick. And then if I hit R, it'll start to take all the blocks from the ground around it. And it should start to try and build this thing. So I'm just going to hold it as long as I can and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> this is the crater we made by doing that. It's freaking big. And then if we look up, uh, this might be where I lag. Normally this is only a 4x4 four four block. It should have been bigger than that. The blocks are supposed to swirl around it and fill it in. I don't know. In the picture, it shows it being way bigger than that. I think it's kind of messed up. Because it should be able to get huge. And I don't know why that's not happening. But anyways, that's pretty much all this mod adds in. I hope you liked it. Don't forget, if you like this showcase and you like my videos, leave a like. Smash the like button for the next... Japanese mod and I'll see you guys next time. Bye